just started going off in the public schools. Well, my kids go to public school. There's nothing wrong with them. <laughs> well, now uh, I said, you know, I would have never initiated this conversation. But I met your kids. There's something wrong with them. It's like, this is one of those uh, churches with, you know, the pastor is Hitler, where you can just immediately uh, send all the elders to the guillotine. And they were all white. Well, I don't think I heard that. Did you, Bill? No, I didn't hear it. <laughs> I bet his kids are really, you know, whatever they have to be for me to be an elder. That's what they are. <laughs> but, yeah, I, salt and light. They're ambassadors. That, that was the phrase. Ambassadors for Christ. They're little ambassadors for Christ. I said, what do you, what do you think, what would you think, uh, say, in a foreign country, the court of St. James, the Vatican, that certainly is a hostile foreign country, when it said, sir, you're, you're here to meet the new U.S. ambassador, and some six-year-old kid came in, you'd say, this country's an idiot. And the pastor said, are you calling me an idiot? And I said, uh, no, I'm talking about a country that sends a kid who's six as an ambassador. <coughs> but he was very serious. These are little I said, hey, lest I be misunderstood, I'm all for evangelizing the public schools. Let's hire a helicopter. Let's drop jack chick tracks all over the playground. Let's rent bullhorns and just, you know, scream about Jesus all day long in the windows off the, from the sidewalks. But you don't have to put your kids in there. But this is what we're up against, the idea that a, there's nothing wrong with it. And what's wrong is people like you guilt-tripping people for having their kids in these God-hating, no-Bible, anti-Christ schools. And boy, you don't have to go back too far, certainly in the Reformed faith, or even the Catholic religion, to where in the 1940s I read a book about bishop statements in Detroit in the 1940s when there were total segregation and uh, black and white schools and Catholic bishops were uh, putting out uh, whatever they call them, their pastoral letters which are read from the pulpit and they went on for thousands of words about the evils of secular godless education. Nowadays it's like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, well we're in a really good school because uh, I remember Marilyn Coyle. Good lunch. Huh? Good school with free lunch. Well, until they get their property tax bill, then they probably know who's paying for that lunch. But uh, Marilyn Quayle, they were Presbyterians. They had, I remember talking about that their kids were going to uh, a Jesuit high school because Father, whatever his name, he, 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 we really liked him. And I thought, wow, Presbyterians don't know that what's wrong with the Jesuits. And then it was Dan Quayle. He thought potato had an E in it. Yeah, but I, 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 don't, I don't think I've ever heard a person say, you know you're right. I think it was a joke. But we, we, we should help them. We should help them and show them, starting with the next council meeting, and the agenda, and how we think, uh, here are the guidelines. So I look forward to a day or night where someone really says that sincerely. Because what you said, there's no doubt that all around, our country's just falling apart. It's just rubble. And the question now is, where are the Christians to stand up on the rubble to say, okay, now can we read God's lips? Anybody here? Well, the answer is, they're in this room. They're in this room. And if you won't go do this, then you should shut your face and never again uh, criticize anything when you wouldn't spare two minutes to go read something, presumably that you agree with, when you read it, and, and testify <coughs> yourself. That's what made me think of it. It's okay, I, I, I've made speeches and I know Rush Dooney, I've read all these books and blah, 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 and uh, I was on Oprah and Donahue and uh, Geraldo. I was interviewed by Stephen Colbert. Yeah, a stunned silence. Yeah, but. Uh, and then I thought, well, okay, what can I do? I, I know Monday night I can go to my council. What the heck? I'm talking about all this stuff. Why don't I go do it? And I plan to go and hope that they arrest me because then it'll get in the papers. And my wife will not be pleased over that. Though. 
Well, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Well, thank you for putting I'm going to continue this over.